We greatly appreciate the faithful Muslim who actively participate in religious studies. Here, Muhammad Qasim conveys a message from Allah that the world is currently filled with various forms of polytheism, shirk, and he states that we are the last generation of the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. He says that Dajjal, Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, and Gog Magog will appear in our time. And before that, we will first face the greatest war in human history, which will take place in the Arab lands. There is a war known as Gazawatul Hind in this series of wars. It is important for you to be aware of this as preparation, because all of this will occur in our time. It is important to note that the first fortress of the Muslim is Turkey, and currently, evil forces are making strong efforts to bring down this first fortress. After the first fortress of the Muslim falls, the evil forces will immediately target the second fortress, which is Saudi Arabia. Both fortresses of the Muslim will fall and be controlled by evil forces. The Great War will take place in the Arab lands and will claim the lives of one million people, with the majority of them being Muslims. After that, the enemy will advance towards Pakistan, which is the last defense fortress of the Muslim. India, America, Israel and their allies will attempt to attack Pakistan, but Muslims will receive Allah's help in Pakistan. Allah will grant them 3,000 black fighter jets, rendering India, America, Israel and their allies powerless. Pakistan will liberate the oppressed Muslim lands. Pakistan will emerge as a new superpower with the help and mercy of Allah. There are still many secrets left untold in this series, partly because they are too terrifying to be revealed. I don't even know if I was still alive when it happened. Only Allah knows best. The best provision for us is piety towards Allah. And it should be remembered that the only sin that Allah will not forgive is the sin of shirk if a person does not repent during their lifetime in this world. This significant information is taken from a source, Allah and Prophet Muhammad in Muhammad Qasim's dreams.